so it's time to make dinner. I want to share tonight one of my favorite dinner recipes that I've made a few years, and I call it my Chippy Dippy Dinners. It's basically a creamy, saucy meat and bean dip. Pretty simple. So I've made many different versions of it, so it's very versatile to your liking. So I start with meat. I've made every meat possible in this kind of bean dip. I've used ground pork, ground beef, uh, pulled pork, uh, shredded chicken, and tonight I used uh, some breakfast sausages that I already have cooked in the air fryer to bring out their flavor and sliced them up into these little rounds. And then you have to have a sauce. I've made it with tomato sauce or tomatillo sauce. To make my sauce in the Instant Pot, I've used a 28 ounce can of organic diced tomatoes, dumped the whole thing in here, and then about a half a can of tomato paste. And I've already cooked and simmered it in here for about 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna add my meat. Get this going. And then I love to use a bunch of onions, but that could be optional. And then I like to go ahead and add my creamy part. I like cream cheese. You can use regular cheese or even both. And you can put the amount that you want. There's a lot of recipes online for popular dips like crack dip but those are mostly just very cheesy and I like to make my bean meat dip a lot healthier. So I'm gonna use about a half a block, eight ounce block of cream cheese and then you can always add more to your liking. Get that in there. And I'm gonna get that all melted in here. And then, then I always add beans, and I'm almost done. So you could use canned beans. I don't, I always make my own beans. The only mistake that you could make is if you use all the goo in the can of beans, it might make it too thin and watery. That's the only mistake I've ever made. Not that it's a mistake, but I like my dips thick. So let me get this all kind of melted in here. So I've made a bunch of white navy beans. I've used white beans, pinot beans, black beans, even butter beans. Uh, I've, I soaked my beans for 24 hours uh, to remove as much of the uh, lectins as you can to make them healthier. And then I cooked them in the Instant Pot and drained them. And I like to just add some and I'll have some left over to my liking just for the proportions and ratios that I like, but I think everybody's different. So this still kind of needs to melt. And then you can add like other additional options like chopped jalapenos, that makes, gives it a nice flavor. Tonight I'm gonna add some sliced diced olives, black olives, I really like that. You can use different spices or herbs. And like I said, it's very versatile. So let me add my olives. I always like to add my beans at the end because otherwise they can get real mushy. So I'm gonna add, I always like to have leftover beans for smoothies. Okay, so I'm gonna start there. Pardon my floor cooking here. Unfortunately, I haven't had much of a kitchen for a couple years. So my life is Instant Pots and on the floor. Okay, and that's probably about where I'm going to stop, but of course you can add salt to your liking, but the sausage and the olives already has some salt. So I could add a little, I might add a little bit more cream cheese. What would be really nice is I might actually add some shredded Gouda, but this is it. So it's, it's kind of a thick, creamy, saucy meat and bean dip. And then I'm gonna eat this with some organic corn chips or blue corn chips. Always remember that the majority of corn in our country is GMO. 
so that's called BT toxin, so you don't want to get exposed to pesticides. So always get organic corn chips or blue corn, which is always organic. So I hope you decide to try this sometime and enjoy. Research shows that clicking the thumbs up and subscribe button will make fingers healthy and strong. And besides, it's free.